What is up everyone? Today we're talking about the acid hydrolysis of esters, or translating into English, at least partially, we're splitting an ester apart into two. When you see the word hydrolysis, two very important halves of that word. Hydro refers to water. So we're going to be using water here. Lysis refers to splitting. So we're going to be splitting something with water. So whenever you see hydrolysis, realize that we're going to split it apart. And uh, it's acid catalyzed, so that means you're going to see those little H plus up top. So notice we'll start with an ester, and we'll add water, and that's going to split it apart. This is actually exactly the reverse process of esterification. We're just taking the ester back apart. Okay, so let's look at a formal definition, and then work some practice problems. The Acid hydrolysis of an ester is the splitting of an ester into an alcohol and a carboxylic acid by the addition of water, and it's completed in the presence of an acid catalyst. Okay, so here's our ester, and here's our water. We're going to get back out our carboxylic acid and our alcohol. So those are the two halves that go into making an ester, and we can just take them back apart. So what I'm going to do basically is think about splitting the ester in half, basically the same exact halves that I would if I was going to name it, and we're going to get out one half with an OH tacked onto it, and one half with an H. Remember that water is OHH, it has an OH and an H, and basically the OH is going to go hang out right here, and the H is going to go hang out on this oxygen. So let's draw that product, and then we'll look at some step-by-step -step rules. So we'll have H3C, and then we go down to a carbon, up to a carbon, and we have a double bonded to an oxygen. And now we're going to go ahead and tack on our OH. I'm going to put that in orange to highlight that that came from the water. Okay, so that's one half of the ester that we get out. And then the other half is that alcohol. So I'm going to put the O connected to a carbon and then to a CH3. That's pretty crappy. Let's write that again. I'm going to write it a little up to give us some more room. O going up to a carbon and then down to CH3. And then again, we're going to put an H here that came from water. So notice we just split apart our ester into a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. All right, let's do a few practice problems and give you some steps. This says complete the acid hydrolysis of the following ester. Step one, draw a line through the CO single bond. Okay, so that's that special magical bond that connects the carboxylic acid half to the alcohol half. And now we're going to rewrite the CWO side and add an OH to generate our carboxylic acid. Okay, cool. So we go up to our CWO bond and down, and we're going to add an OH. Okay. So that's one half. Now, when I say add an OH, what I mean is you're going to start by just getting to this point where you have the C double O bond, and now we're going to go down and add an OH that came from the water. And now we're going to write our alcohol half. We'll start with the oxygen and go up, down, up, and we're just going to tack a hydrogen on. So this H2O became this OH and H, and that's exactly how we split an ester in, ester in half with acid hydrolysis of an ester. Let's do one more practice problem. Okay, here, once again, I've drawn my ester upside down, but nothing really changes. I've also given it a substituent that just comes along for the ride. We draw a line through that special CO single bond. Okay, we're going to start with our carboxylic acid half. So we have two carbons meeting like that and going down and double bonded to our oxygen. Okay, and then we get to that green line. That's where we're going to add an OH to make our carboxylic acid. Now it might bother you that that carboxylic acid is upside down, and if you wanted to just start by redrawing this molecule and flipping it over, that would be totally fine. All right, now we'll draw our alcohol side. We're going to draw the chlorine going up to a carbon, down to a carbon, and up to an oxygen. And now we just add a hydrogen on it to make that alcohol, okay? So that's how we can basically undo our esterification, splitting apart that ester into a carboxylic acid and an alcohol.